back. Went ahead and cooked them ribs up as you see. Once you start getting that, that nice fold and you start seeing them bones come out the bottom of it, I mean, you're making business with something. What's up, what's up, what it do fam? You guys asked for a barbecue mukbang, so I decided to bring you guys out here. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Uh -oh. We got some thirsties out <laughs> the here. <laughs> the Chronicles. Uh -oh. oh my God, y'all. <laughs> hey, if y'all like stuff like this, go ahead and smash that, that like button. <laughs> really? If you got stuff like this in your neighborhood. Little, yeah, little neighborhood stuff, y'all. You know, go ahead and smash that like button. <laughs> oh Jesus. Tell, your, tell us your Chronicles. <laughs> Oh, Lord. oh Jesus! I didn't send off with some people. So y'all, we just pulled everything off the grill. Meat is tenderoni. When I say tenderoni, them ribs right there, y'all. I hope you got some good light. I hope you guys can see this, man. These ribs. Man, look at that juice. Look at the juice. I hope it's glistening. I hope it's glistening. Let me show some of that backside. You gotta let it uh, smoke. See this? Look over a nice little crisp. Mm. Mm. Ain't nothing like a little crackling. Mm hmm. Well played. And then we got that. That's, That's that out. Oh, 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 Look, I still got a little pink in there, you know, so this can get more try that smoke. Uh, what that was, I mean, that was? Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Or tenderloin. Tenderloin. Because everything right here tender. That's how we do. Y'all say you want barbecue, we give it to you just like that, straight like that. Yum, yum. Hola, welcome back to T and Lee TV. All right, y'all. So we are coming to you guys today with a barbecue mukbang. As requested. Yes, as requested from you guys. So um, we went ahead and put some ribs, pork chops, and some. You a, know what? What is that? That's what I'm looking is for. Is the fillet gone? <gasps> That's what I, I knew he got up there. The whole fillet gone. That's what I thought that piece looked like. It got bit off of. He ate the whole filet off of here. He ate the whole filet. Are you serious? What's the filet? He ate yeah. a piece of meat off of here. A special piece of meat off of here. The most expensive out of all this meat. Now, it's sitting right on top. I was looking at it. I was like, something looks missing. He ate it. Because when I seen this piece hit missing, and then he came looking, mm -hmm. I was like, why is he in there? Then I called for you, and you said you was in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why this gap was empty. It was a piece of filet sitting right there. So, I was, I was looking. I'm like, something look, somebody ate off of here. All right. So... Um, just never mind the part in the video of the filet. You did see it in the video, so luckily we got some footage of it. Um, but we're not going to be able to taste it today. Luckily we got two more we'll cook, um, at a later time. Alright y'all, so yeah. Let's go ahead and bless the food. Yes. Lord, we'd like to thank you for this food. I know how should come through this food. And this food is a blessing from you to me and my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Alright. So on to what we have left. <laughs> for Pow ate it. That's that piece right there that was... Just still tender piece. This one right here? Yeah, I was saying, cause, oh, okay. Cause I thought because it was thin, that it would have dried out more. But come to think of it, it might have been, you know, these center cut. That's the, uh, these might be a little more tougher. I'm sorry, guys. Because if you can see it, okay. we focus in. And what are these called again? Oh, those are just spare ribs, but they are, um, I'm going to say Louisiana, but they are um, St. Louis cut because they already took the uh, top piece off of it. I like the middle one. Oh, definitely go get the middle. You know, I, like I'm telling you, I like more of the thin side. Yeah. Nice and juicy. Ooh, yeah, definitely, definitely show them a close up of how, how juicy that is, how it's coming out. That's, man, I, since you guys asked the barbecue, and one thing that you guys might not know, I love to barbecue. Like, I barbecue all the time. I used to barbecue so much to, ooh, the family was asking, like, for us not eat barbecue no more. Yes, eat barbecue a lot. Yes. So I just right. cut me two pieces and oh, oh. go ahead. So um, she like we likes to use. I hope it focuses in. Not really, but 
try to get as good as possible. This is the Catalina barbecue sauce. Uh, it's the Cattleman's. Catalina, I say the, Catalina. The Cattleman's Carolina Tangy Gold. Yes. We really like this particular sauce. And then we have another sauce that's making a debut. Yes, it's the uh, Kicking Kickin Cowboy, which we got by, uh, from Miss Charlene. Mm -hmm. we so, went to um, Gainesville, we got that from Miss Charlene for her birthday. Yes. She gave us gifts. Yes. She's so sweet. Thank you, Miss Charlene, <laughs> for that. And this was really good. And because um, I like mustardy sauce. You like mustardy sauce too, mm -hmm. right? Because I don't really like sweet barbecue sauce too much. I take one. I do. Okay, I do like sweet sauce, but I like mustard-based sweet sauce. Okay. See, I like mine to be spicy, mustardy. Not really too much sweet. Maybe a little bit. Like if you use barbecue sauce or something. The oven. Yeah, I was gonna put this in there, which I should have done, but I didn't because I didn't want to overdo it. But you cut it off. Okay, so this one is a sweet sauce, but this yes. one is actually really good. And it has a kick to it. Yes, so it's kick really, really good. I didn't like the, the darker barbecue sauce I normally don't like, and that's real good. So thank yeah. you, Ms. Charlene. Thank you for putting this. And I don't think that they sell this everywhere. No, I think no. she gets that from the farmer's market. Yes. She gets it from the farmer's market. So somebody makes that. So I don't know if they sell it. Let us know if you're watching this, Miss Charlene, yeah. in the comments. If they make those um, anywhere, we can purchase them. But that's some really good sauce. I, I mean, hands down, I have to give them credit. It's good. And I don't do the dark barbecue sauce normally. Same here. Same here. Yes. So, then I have some, we have some leftover macaroni and cheese that I made for dinner the other night. So, we're going to eat that too as well. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Kicking sauce. Let me go ahead and um, buy that knife for me. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and cut me a couple pieces of this, uh, this thin side. Slice that down the middle. And I'm not quite sure if I said it already. I kind of like the thinner side, like the medium, mm -hmm. the middle going towards the thinner side. Yeah, I'm still blown by that filet. If anybody knows about uh, like uh, tenderloin or filet mignon, it's expensive. And he just had him an expensive treat. Still, and it was a big one too. It was a big one. Yeah, Still, that was big. the biggest one. It was the second one I think oh, when you okay. opened because you got the first one. I ain't want to rip the pack open no more. So yeah, I, just got I think the next the, one. I think the third. Oh, I don't know. I think the third one is bigger, and that very last one, a very small one. That was a big old piece of meat. Even though I probably only ate a little piece of it still, because you know it's a little, you know a little just, more done than me. I try to cook it like medium well, so you can eat some of it. Uh huh. And I wanted you to I try. I still would have tasted it. It was still pink in the, like certain parts of it. On the outer side, it was kind of darker. Mm -hmm. But it was, how is it? It's good. Good. Yeah, she got good. <laughs> bit was kind of fatty. Oh. Uh, okay. It's very tender. Oh, that's, thank you, thank you. So guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. And our Epic Empire links are in the description box below. That's PR Game, Prissy P, Ray Sean, and Muscle and Marriage. Make sure you check them out. Yes. Gang, gang. Gang. So let's go ahead and snap a thumbnail real quick. Oh, yeah. Get too far. Usually we always forget. Mm-hmm. So let's go ahead and... I'll take the rib. Oh, I got a rib too. The rib hotel. Oh. Okay. That's that rib dog with the sauce and sauce. Oh, they do got a kick to it. I forgot about it. Oh, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Can I have some? I'm gonna pour some on the side. Oh, definitely. And it's so sweet. It is. It's good. It's very, very sweet. But it's good. I really like it. Hope nothing ain't blocking my food. Let me move it. Oh, wait a minute. I know sometimes that can happen. Oh, shoot. Just that one. What? The one he ate up though. It is? Yeah, because I was telling you, this piece is why oh. the reason I noticed something was missing because this piece was it was a big chunk on the side of it. Oh, okay. Let me make sure it's Okay. So I'm gonna sit that up to the side. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the pieces I was gonna eat. I'm gonna pour a little bit of the kicking barbecue sauce. Kicking cowboy sauce. Bring my plate in and we can actually try to scoot that up a little bit so we can get in the frame a little bit. So yes. I do something. 
Oh god. It's good tender. It is very tender. Mmm. What piece of that? So what you guys eating tonight? Mm. Let us know. Mm-hmm. The the kicking sauce goes really well with the barbecue. Mm. The barbecue smoky flavor it from good. the grill. Mm-hmm. Did you mix yours? Two together? Mm-hmm. You mix them two together? Mm. A little bit. It wasn't let not me, on purpose. It's kind of mixed. Let me try. I'll try. Mm. Mm. It's gonna make me look like a little rib doll, but I might just break off the bread. This bread, how many of y'all heard of, um, I know most of you know what potato bread is, but I like the one by Martin's. There's one by Arnold, and that one's a little hard to me, but I like this one. Yeah, it's softer. It's more expensive, but it's softer. And that bread is really good when you toast it up, so it makes it even more softer. Mm -hmm. Because when we, we used to sell dinners and plates, We'll do the hamburgers and we'll toast the bread up. Mm. People just just like, oh, let me get another one before they even leave. Mm -hmm. Say, so we don't get that many compliments around here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was a cake. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a cake. Because I remember it was a cake, but now I think about it, I'm like, it's a pretty strong cake. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's that mac and cheese, if you guys can see it. Yeah, I have my macaroni and cheese that I made from scratch. Oh, and then I and then I have the ones I docked her up. This was the version I doctored up. But I actually really like it. And it's still good. Yeah, I really like it. Thank you. Because there's only really two macaroni well, not only really, it is only two macaroni and cheese I eat. It's my mom's and my wife's. So not to be biased to either one of them. Because if it's nasty, I really, really tell them, hey, listen, I don't really like it. And oh, you're not going to eat it. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to eat it. But I'm not the one that likes, uh, that, that likes uh, elbow noodles. I don't like them. A lot of people like the they, they mac and cheese with elbow noodles. A I lot just, of people do. Because it's like traditional. Yeah, I, I just I like shells. I grew up with shells. Like, my mom always used shells. She didn't use elbow. But I like to start experimenting when I got older because, you know, when you have it all your life, it's like, it's good, but I kind of wanted to try different stuff. Huh? I like shells and I like, uh, what's, that, what's that long one that my mom used? I don't know the name of it. Your rotini? Rotini. I like rotini and shells. Or the, no, not the rotini, the penne. The penne, that's what it's the called. The penne pasta. And, 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 and I love creamy macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. I love it creamy. A lot of people make it uh, stiffer mm -hmm. or stiff. I like it to be creamy. <clears throat> Can I get some of the cows, man? What is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. told you in a different video she's a dipper I'm a pourer I like I pour. am. my barbecue ribs I pour now this not a lot like when I get a rib sandwich from somewhere you tell them my sauce I tell them sauce on the side sauce so they drown the bread I don't even if I had let them put the sauce on it I won't eat the bread it'd be too much me I'll pick it off I gotta have some sauce on my bread it'd be that. drowning the bread be soggy Ooh, I don't like that you take that bone See, watching, I, I like to watch Pitmaster a lot when I barbecue. They say if the, the meat fall off the bone, it's overdone. So That's I, what they say. So I started to pull back off doing that to where you could just take it, still on the bone. Nice bite right off. These ain't still bought ribs now. Mm, okay. Mm. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I'm drinking uh Pepsi Zero. Oh, Pepsi Max taste. Oh, what you drinking? I'm drinking some some uh made in Florida Zebra Hills. Mm-hmm. Some made in Florida. <laughs> it's harvested in Florida. Mm-hmm. So y'all, I still have my Pepsi, but it just won't be the other one. I know some of y'all like it when I bring out the pizza. Water be water. Chop sandwiches. <laughs> I love fried pork chop sandwiches and barbecue pork chop sandwiches. We do. They are delicious. We love sandwiches. I get that from my mom. She makes mm -hmm. sandwiches every time. Ah, everything. Meatloaf, meatloaf sandwich. I'm just like I had never heard of that before. <laughs> I gotta get you a meatloaf I'm just sandwich. like a meatloaf sandwich. What is that? I'm not a real big fan of meatloaf. Maybe that's why. Mm. Hence, you never see me make it. Mm. What do you mean for me? Mm-hmm. I was just gonna say, if he requested, I would. But I don't, I'm not a big fan of me though. I just don't. It's one of those things that I don't know. It's just not something I would ever pick up and say, "Ooh, I want a meatloaf." Mm -hmm. See, I like meatloaf if they. I prefer it without the bread, but if you use bread, then it's good. But I don't like it when they use the stuffings or what's that other thing? Like what it's called? Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Because people say they use it to keep the form of it. Mm hmm I like you just mold the meat, put it in there, and let it go. I never, you know, to be honest with you, I haven't made a meatloaf uh, as I got older and became more talented, talented mm -hmm. at cooking. I never made one or tried to make a meatloaf. Mm. I did it when I was younger, coming up, trying to, you know, develop and master and mold my skills. I was doing it then. Mm hmm How you make it? Mm-hmm. My mom didn't never really make it either. Not much. She did, but not a lot. I didn't really make it. I made it a couple times. My mom did it. But I used meat. That was it. Meat, onions. I chopped the onions up really small. Because I used to hate onions back then. Big onions. Any kind of onions. Whether it was sauteed. I, I still don't like um, fresh onions or onions that... Uh, Crunchy onions, mm -hmm. like any onions that they put on like hamburgers or anything like that. Raw onions. Raw onions, yes. I can't, I can't stand them because like make my mouth burn. Talking about mouth burn, but I can eat them sautéed now. I actually love sautéed onions. Mm -hmm. That's it. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that was something that had to grow on me because if it was onions on it, I no longer wanted it. Even if it was on a hamburger, it was on it. At one point in time, I could still smell it and taste it. I just don't want it. You mm -hmm. can just keep it. Mm -hmm. I can't eat it. But now I can pull off a raw onion and still eat whatever it came off of. Mm -hmm. So that's a. Uh, um, Why do they stink? <laughs> huh? They yeah. stink. Yeah, they're very strong. They're real strong. Especially the ones that smell like mud. I know a lot of them do, but some of them are more strong than others. Which one is that? The yellow onion? Mm -hmm. No, not a yellow onion. Is it red onion? They all stink me. <laughs> yeah, red onion. But, but one of them smells just like mud. Red onions. You have to be right because that's one of the they're the loudest. Checkers. Mm -hmm. And they like. They're the loudest. Mmm. When I make meatloaf, if I, ooh, mm -hmm. you feel that? It rolled on my <laughs> knee. And it kind of felt like it went upwards, my knee. It went this way. Mm hmm. And that way. It landed on my foot. Mm hmm. And it bounced off. Um. No. I know breadcrumbs, eggs, I'm onions, sorry. peppers. I forgot to say that too. Yeah. Eggs. Uh, onions, peppers, seasoning, um. Yeah, you can put like a uh, Worcestershire sauce. Mm. Um, like it's little stuff. You know, I season up good. It's not like it's bad. I just don't never yeah, do that. I know people put like ketchup on top. So put, mm. A lot of people put ketchup on top of it. On my on my my meatloaf sandwich, you gotta have ketchup. Mm -hmm. They always put it on top and they bake it. Or mayonnaise. You gotta treat it like a hamburger. Basically, it's one. Maybe that's why I don't hamburger. like like homemade hamburgers when people put like onions and bell peppers and stuff. 
I don't like it because it don't taste like a hamburger anymore. It tastes like meatloaf. Okay. So that's why I always buy, like, oh, I don't want that. That's not a hamburger. This is a meatloaf. <laughs> when people like season it up real good, I'm like, it no longer tastes like a hamburger. Mm -hmm. It's like it transforms it. Just like if you take a steak and you put it in the oven, it kind of tastes like a pot roll. So mm -hmm. you cook it for a long time. And now it's no longer tastes like a steak. It tastes like a pot roll. Pot rolls, and that's how uh, I feel about those hamburgers and stuff. I mean, that's why, how I feel about uh, I guess that. What? Cause you said the steak part. I know. <laughs> I, I thought you was going to be more bold. No, because no, no, I, I was, but I'm like, what's, what's the point? Yeah, I, what is I, the I, point? After, you know, we, we did our little talk, and you were like, why, why? Is it going to change anything? It's not. Because so, even if you throw it up, we ain't eating it. Nah. Even if it come out the other way, still not eating. We gonna kick your behind, pal. So I'm glad. No, I just, I just, I just felt when he came in there, he looked at me, he looked suspicious. Yes. So when I came in, after I called her diet, but, I was but like. But you could tell he wasn't hungry, because if he was hungry, he would have ate everything. But remember you said he was going to lick his lips if he ate it? Yeah. He wasn't licking his lips, so neither one I saw Oh, he was done. He was uh, licking it before he came in there and looked at you. I don't know. Yeah, because I don't know. I just know he came when he looked. He was like, oh, cool. I think I got away with it. Then I, I got up, because I seen him. And I didn't see Renaya follow right behind him. I was like, Renaya! I was like, where you at? She was like, I'm in the bathroom. I was like, foul out here. And then I happened to see that one piece of meat. And it looked like somebody bit off of it. Because if you see it, it's broken. It's like it's a piece missing. So I was like, either somebody came and took a different sample. <laughs> uh, he got up here. But he, I didn't, he stole it. But it didn't dawn on me. Who probably stole what every, was close to him? Yeah, because it was sitting right on the edge. So I was, I was like, and then Donald, because there was so much meat on the plate or the, on this uh, on this tray, that I was like, "Oh, everything looks like it's okay. And only just look like the one piece." And I remember somebody wanted to see what it tastes like, see how the boy do his thing. You know? Oh, it was somebody. It was some. It was some animal. He loved it. Maybe maybe he just disrespected me because maybe he was like, "Ah, that's nasty." I don't eat the rest <laughs> of it. I feel like nah, I feel disrespected. Mm -hmm. He wasn't really hungry. He just wanted to have a sample. What? Well, I hope it's that. I hope he don't say my food was nasty and just like, ah, I ain't eat no more of that. Mm -hmm. Now, if that was hungry, he would've ate that whole thing. Like, he stole that whole box of pizza. When we did that muck bar on the Sam's pizza, the, 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 whatever that you saw left, Pal ate it all. Ate it all. He stole it, ate it all. Right up on the counter. Mmm. What I was gonna say was, if his, if his brother was out, him and Cole, they would've ate all the food. Oh, they would've ate it all. Cole would've ate a curse and get it. Get it, you know my legs back going up there, bring it down here, bring it up here. Color, go tug his tail. That was him. You know you told him to get it. So I was a baby again, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't want to, it's not like too salty or too bland. Mm -mm. Cause I kind of like, I uh, soaked it in, in um, like mojo and then Molly used the seasonings and you know, just, um, that? I added the um, apple cider vinegar. Go away, you already had some. Yes, you stole. You know you did. Go. Huh, actually, I didn't want this piece. You can have this piece because you, you already bit off of it. Um, but yeah, I put apple cider vinegar. I took it after I did. I rubbed it all on it. Mm -hmm. And when I first did, I was like, damn, I hope I ain't overdo it because it was the, the vinegar smell was pretty strong. Mm -hmm. And after a while, it started to subside. I don't know if it soaked into the meat. And that probably what kept it juicy too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I love all sauces, but Catalan's mm -hmm. is my favorite. It's my favorite sauce. And your dad put us on this one. Mm -hmm. Back back a couple years ago. Shout out to you, Daddy. Pops, you did that. This thing stuck with us. It stuck with us. Cause that was a, that was a real good one. Mm hmm Yeah, cause I, I love mm, I love a good barbecue sauce. And if I can eat your barbecue without eat any sauce, you got you got you something good. Like if you eat somebody barbecue sauce, I mean some barbecue sauce, somebody barbecue, and you just eat it. And it's good. It ain't tough. It got a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. It ain't salty. It ain't bland. Cause even if you, if you do barbecue this meat with no seasoning, the smoky flavor. Cause I use live oak, guys. I use live oak and um, king four coals. Um, as you see, well, you didn't see, but as the first part of the clip, oh, we'll be starting the coals, us uh, prepping the food on the you know on the grill and stuff for you guys, just so you can get a, a, a idea. 
of, you know, the little things that we, you know, doing for you guys because you guys wanted to see the barbecue, but I, I enjoyed it because I love barbecue. And I sit up out there all day. Just barbecue up the storm. That's my favorite. Every time somebody barbecue, or like just the other week, we was doing um, um, Miracle for Michael. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And I, I was just walking out because I got done finished recording uh, a church sermon. And a, a fellow church member was like, hey, come here, help me on this grill real quick. And because I, I supposed to came straight home so I could edit and upload, and I ended up getting stuck on the grill. <laughs> I got no problem with grilling. I love grilling. That was a good thing too, Chris. He wasn't feeling that good. Yeah, he wasn't feeling that good. Look at him. No, you got enough. You should be full. You ate about a good, not a pound, but like a, a half a pound. You ate the bones though? I should have had bottles of water over here, y'all. Mm. I love to drink. So my, my pie, though. Oh no, it's it. okay. Yeah, it's okay. We, I need to make some. We need to. That's the K99, I think. Okay, because I was saying, I didn't know who water that was. They didn't drink them. How does the thing end? Oh, <gasps> wow. Who watching me? Somebody looking at me. I hope it's a man. You never know. <laughs> How did the thing end taste? Oh, it's good. It's good. Get right here. I love when them bones start coming out. That's it. Go ahead and put you something over there. How did the thing end taste? It's nice and juicy. Ooh, look yeah, at that. That's good. Look at the thickness of that, y'all. It's really thick. It's juicy. It's um. So now I'm gonna taste a piece of the thing in. Oh. Excuse me. And then that's my last little piece, y'all. Mm. For those of y'all that say I don't really be eating on these book bones, I'm eating today because nah. I just had three bones. Ooh, four bones, huh? Yeah, just yeah. That's just, what's up. This Go will be the fourth one. Go ahead, eat up. <clears throat> you know, make me feel good. I'm gonna like my barbecue. Okay. Oh, you know, some people be cooking their barbecue, and their chicken don't be done. Like if you cook chicken, oh. and it get and, and it got that pull to it, you just can't snap it apart without any effort. Like very little effort. I just, I just can't eat everybody barbecue because you know they be like, oh that barbecue good. A lot of people say that. Yeah, a lot of people don't really like everybody barbecue. And, I, it's just, yeah, it's hard because. It don't and, and the flavor. Yeah. The material that you're using, like your your coals, mm -hmm. and um, I'm a king. I'm a king, a king for type guy. I don't like using anybody else coals, but they brand or it is one brand. The, uh, the one we got from GSF. Mm. Oh yeah. That yeah. brand is really really good. Well, I don't know the name of it. Is it their store brand? I don't know. I think it is. I think it's. I think it had their logo on it. Mm-hmm. That one's good, and I love using oak, man. Oh. I I can use cherry oak, apple oak, um. I can use just about any kind of oak, man. I love oak. Whole pieces of oak. I don't like the little oak flakes. You know, people that like to use the little chiseled pieces. I like the whole piece, the whole log. He's talking about oak flakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they take them and they chip them. Oak, oak they call uh, chips, wood chips. Mm -hmm. I don't like using the wood chips. They're too small. Like, maybe if you want to start your fire, I'll start the big piece of But I want that big piece of oak so we can start smoking. And you let that smoke. See, I can, I can talk about barbecuing all day. See, we got something that he could talk. Yeah, and I could eat. Yeah, that's so I love. I love barbecue. <clears throat> I love it more than regular cooking. I can I can regular cook, but I can I, I love barbecue. That's my thing. It is. You can tell what people really love. You know, cause they put like their passion and they all into it. Yeah, and the funny thing about it is, I love the barbecue making meat, and I always love the side she made. Mm -hmm. You know, um, now now listen, now I'm not a big fan of beans but we like to use bush beans i'm not a big fan of it unless it has meat in it and still then i still don't eat a lot of it because i just don't really care for the beans too much i'm not saying it's nasty it's just sometimes to be like really sweet oh yeah i don't see i don't like to make my real sweet because they be sweet already then they add the brown sugar to it then they add the meat to it and the meat kind of balance out all the sweetness for me i guess uh, if i had to put it in words see i don't like mine super sweet to me, they can't be too sweet. Oh. I just like them, you know. I like the little sweetness with the like the little bit of nutmeg -y flavor, cinnamon flavor. Oh, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. These ribs, I probably could have pulled them off like five, ten minutes earlier. Cause, you know. I don't, yeah, I like them like that. Like them like that? Mm-hmm. 
It was just like when I'm out, I be on the grill. I be almost like a, try to be like a perfectionist. Just like when I be editing, I probably try to do too much, and uh, like kind of like Dr. Dre syndrome is what I call it. Mm -hmm. Like spending two, three years on one song, on one half a song, mm -hmm. when the song was actually finished. You know, you just thinking, ah, it's not good enough for me. You know, I wanted to be perfect, and you know, am I perfect? I was messing it up. You know. Sometimes you can, like when you overdo stuff, it be so perfect and sometimes you end up making it work, mess it up. I don't know. I think everybody's kind of been there. Because I've done it too. Like, you know, if you do any kind of arts, whether it's in your cooking, whether it's in makeup, or mm. I hate when I do that. Like, I'm trying to make it so perfect and then I end up messing up. I'd be so mad at myself. Yeah. yeah. I'd be so mad at myself. So sometimes I'll be like, Trinice, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. It'd be so hard for me to do that. I know. I have to talk about stuff because. If I don't, then I'm going to mess it up. Sometimes you won't, but then you, sometimes you will. And then you get mad. And then now yeah. you be mad. Because <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. that's the same thing I was thinking. Even when I was cooking this, I'm like, oh, man, don't leave it out too long. I don't want to dry it out. But don't pull it in too fast because it ain't going to be, be done. done. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Because if you, if you undercook it, it's going to be tough. If you overcook it, it's going to be super tough. So you got to have the right... <clears throat> on it. Mm -hmm. Find that right medium. That right medium. Yeah, that's it. You about to finish your food? I'm yep. about to finish my food. It's just every time I cook, I always get full fast. Like last um, last night, oh, well, when we did the 10K celebration, yes. I cooked all that seafood and I couldn't eat it all because after smelling it and smelling it and standing there, you know, before I was hungry, like, oh, I'm going to tear all this food up. By the time I finished, my mom do it all the time. I think I probably it's probably mentally stuck in my head because she do it. That is the reason why I do it. Okay? Got a puff puff pass. That's a rotation. You can kill somebody. Else. I try to get the camera. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. I was thinking about something and my drink just went down. <laughs> I couldn't stop it. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um. I think I got it from my mom. I think that's what oh, I got. Oh yeah, definitely. Because she do it all the time. She'll yeah. cook, and then by the time she finished cooking, I'm not hungry. But I'm like, mom, you just cooked all this food. You not hungry? I'm full now. Yeah, because I guess the aroma you just filled up with just, just looking at it, you just filled yourself up. I guess that's just like a mental thing. I don't know if that's it factual. It is. It's just a mental not. thing because I think a little bit later you get a little hungry. You do. And when you get hungry later, you be hungry later. Yep. Like right now, I ate one rib. I threw him a bone to my rib. Ate one pork chop and a little straggler piece. And oh, and the macaroni. And I had a piece of bread, so that, that bread is thicker. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that do fill you up as well. It does. And, um, yeah. Y'all, we appreciate it. We appreciate um, it. We will, on the next video we do, we'll do shout outs. Not this one because I haven't yes. had even had a chance to get the shout outs together. But don't, don't worry, we're going to get those out today. Yes, so if you do want a shout out. Make sure you do leave a comment. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying. It was, it was the know. weirdest thing ever. I was trying to hiccup and yawn at the same time. It felt like uh, a bomb. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Oh, yeah, that was very weird. So, guys, do not forget to leave a comment below if you guys do want a shout out. And I'm going to collect them all together and then I'll do them in another video. Yes. I knew I felt something. Yeah. What is that? I don't even know. It's green. I don't even know. What is that? I don't even know. We got nine green in here. What the heck? Look. Oh, it was a bug. That bed not have been no bug on my head. It was. Look, it got wings. <gasps> no. Yeah, it was a eyebrow. Oh my God, it was, it got wings. I don't know what kind of green bug was I wings. went outside. I went outside to take Kayla home. And it was webs and stuff. And I hate it because we got trees. And stuff be falling on me. Yeah. All the time, I hate it. I had to wash my hair. Because what was something that's trying to get in my puff and live? That's possible, because I, when I used to have dress, I used to, swim, um, I forgot who used to say it. You, you, you get some, look at something going on, they can crawl, they can hatch and have babies and stuff. I also wash my so hair. So I used to wash my hair all the time. I can't. I, I probably, can't have nothing making babies in my head. I probably washed all my hair. That's why I probably, I don't know. <laughs> But definitely I'm going to uh, wash this head or whatever, but we thank you guys for joining us. Yes. Um, for our barbecue mukbang, if you like more mukbangs like this, don't forget to comment down below. We're going to give you different kinds. Sometimes it'll be a smaller one, sometimes it'll be a big one. Yes. 
you know. And no worry, none of this food is gonna go to waste. So no. we got three daughters, um, and we also got a dog that, that likes to steal. That likes barbecue. And he's I'm right here, it. and he's looking like when you go throw my next piece. I'm more annoyed than Lee. There you go. I mean, maybe if it was like really, I'm not, I don't know. Maybe if it was a pork chop, it was inexpensive. Yeah, well, maybe if it was like really exactly how I like my cook and that my mouth was watering for it, oh. I'd have been really mad. And I, and I tried to, I tried, I tried my best to make it. He video. did, it looked nice and everything. I did want to taste it, but God darn. You might be glad we got in a four pack from Sam, and that wasn't individual. Yeah, and, and that was pretty much a sale too. It was like a sale, but it wasn't for dog sale. You ain't yeah. that special. Yeah, because usually if we go to Publix, them things, that size right there, easily $25. They're eighteen ninety nine a pound. And then one that size, because usually we don't yeah. get you one that big. We one don't that size, get that big. They're eighteen ninety nine a pound in Publix. One that size would have easily been, I'm, I'm guessing, guesstimating, about 25 bucks Because you get one, it'd be like $15, if we got it from, If we would have got it from Publix. Well, no, yeah. I get two. You get two? Two small ones. Okay, well that, yeah. that that one that size was. That was a nice size. Yeah. Yes, I'm looking at you because you did not deserve that. Okay, we're gonna start talking about it. <laughs> Cause it's funny, you know. It's ridiculous. They it's thieving. Funny. Okay, y'all. On another positive note, thank you so much yes. for joining us again. We love you guys and we hope to see you guys on the next video. Until next time. Peace. Peace.